Okay. Let's try this again. The original firmware, oh, ignore the misspelling on firmware, for the VNA H4. I got this unit, well, probably less than a week. So the current version on there is 2019-2022, and it's based on this Lord. Version 1.2.1. Build time August 31st, 2022, over a year ago. After I did the update, this is what I got. 2019 to 2023, copyright, this Lord based, same one. And the version is 1.2.20. So and the build time was March 12, 2023. And of course, if you want to find out what version you have on this unit, go to your main menu. And I believe it's on the main menu and towards the bottom, you'll see it at config. Uh, this minute. Nope, Let me, I, I hit it, yeah, I hit the config. That's one thing about <laughs> sometimes you double tap and you go two steps in and then version and it will give you the information. So main menu, hit config once and you should see version. Okay, off. here's a quick clip doing it by hand. Home menu, you see a file, uh, file config and then uh, version and while you're there you can also go to uh, expert mode where you can set your date and time things of that sort and there you go oops not quite hitting the export mode yet there she goes my hand is in the way and there you go okay and there are settings there for date time and things of that sort okay now, the latest firmware update is at github.com. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, but I call it this Lord. So I'm gonna click on that. It opens up and it tells you some of the changes on the updates here. This is the one you want. The H4, not the H, but the H4 version 1.2.20. I believe you only need the DFU file, but I downloaded the bin and hex, seeing how it's here. And even then, we may not even need it. I'll explain to you why. Okay. This is the firmware installer. All this is for the Mac. And it's uh, www.st.com. And the installer we're going to get is the STM32 Cube Prog for program. Okay. There we go, went down too far. And you have one for Linux, Mac, Windows 32, and Windows 64. And the one I want, of course, was the second one for the Mac, 2.15. Download it. And when you launch it, it will ask you to give a location where you want the installation to occur. It's going to install the actual firmware programmer and a few other little things. So this is just an installer. And then once you have the uh, install installation complete, 
and you need to select one application, which I will show you on the uh, other machine. Connect your Nano VNA. Plug in your USB into your laptop or, or Mac, and the other end into your Nano VNA H4. Turn off the unit. Squeeze the the roller wheel down. Squeeze it, and then power up at the same time while holding it down. This will then put you in the program mode where you can make the connection. Okay, I um, I loaded the configuration file. Apparently, the first time I did it, uh, I had the configuration excuse me, the configuration files um, in the folder and didn't realize it. And that's why <laughs> it happened automatically. It found it on its own. But this time around, it's in a different location, so I had to uh, select a path. And then I hit, uh, well, actually there's two ways of uh, programming this. The second icon there on the side gives me the option of uh, one-time update and the automatic. I, if you use the automatic one, after it's finished, it disconnects the device. So you have to connect it each time. I'm assuming it's for uh, people with multiple devices. And I was curious to see what the difference. And so I... Uh, program it using both methods and at one time I program it to do a complete erase. I notice that if I don't do a complete erase some of the settings remain but I want a complete clean start so I did a clean erase completely and so all my settings are gone. It, it defaults to the factory level. I've done this several times, off and on, and no issues. There's a lot. There's a manual that comes with it, and it explains how you can uh, uh, set up different functions. It obviously has more capabilities than most of us will need, so I think this uh, will work. It's uh, a little bit of slow launching. I'm assuming it's not uh, silicon basis. I have to check that. Um, it can crash occasionally and then it quits if you're playing around enough with buttons like I do, <laughs> but it works. So there you go. I went through uh, the log just to see if I can find any differences, but it didn't seem to be any different whether I use uh, a complete erase or not. It must be something I missed. There you go. Then you disconnect, you can quit, power up uh, your unit, and you will check your version, and you will find that you have the latest version. So, that takes care of this. I will be putting out a video on how to use the Nano Saver and how to install that on a Mac. It's a little bit more elaborate, but easy. Until next time, if you have any questions, leave a comment, I will respond.